Alex Mead. Alexis, darling. It's Alexis now. <laughs> Am I done? Oh, shit. Hi, sorry to interrupt. Here's the coffee that I promised you an hour ago. I'm sorry. There are just so many fires to be put out. Look at this. This is incredible. I have to go. Find something to do. Come on, we are on a deadline. Sorry. My uh, assistant's been having a rough day. You are not the Daniel Mead I thought you'd be. Really? And who are you getting your information from? Daniel, I have a little confession to make. Okay. Your brother? Okay. Wait, come back. Go, 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 go. The kid brother who Alex used to talk about wouldn't have cared what kind of a day his assistant was having. Yeah, well, things change, right? People change. Yes, they certainly be here. He knows how important this is. I just saw him. Um, he must have. Uh, I'll find him. You're crazy. How could you do this? I mean, I can't even look at you. Then don't look at me. But I need you to know why I did this. Since I was five, I've known I've been... Don't! Since Just... I was five, I felt like I've been dropping the wrong skin. This is about correcting a mistake. Oh, is that all it is? Really? That's the fast version. She's never recovered. And our father, he's... What? Moved on? Suarez, my brother's assistant. I know who you are. Okay, let's just cut to it. They soften the jaw, slim the nose, lower the hairline, shave the Adam's apple, and then there are the implants. Cheeks, breasts, ass. I'll spare you the more graphic details, but just to put a rumor to rest, they don't save it in a jar. Huh. That's good to know. <clears throat> And no, I haven't given up smoking. It's a hormone patch. So my mustache doesn't grow back. Really? Where'd you get that? Because I have to bleach all the time and it is such a pain. And you're not. I gotta pee. Thank you all for coming. I'm sure by. Actually, that's not true. <sighs> my brother Danny, everyone. You. Okay, well, this is big. Calling Ken then. And people who are just playing editor in chief should go back to throwing a football and whoring around. Are you people really gonna listen to someone who wet his bed? Peeing? Shut up! Oh, you shut up! No, that's not fair. I can't hit a girl, can I? Well, then I guess you'll just have to hit yourself. Why hit yourself? Why hit yourself? Stop it! The both of you, right now. There's nothing to see here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thank you very much. Her psychiatrist hasn't heard anything. I gotta go find her. I'll go. Since when you care about mom? I love mom. She's the one person I actually miss. Oh, right, because nothing says I love you like faking your own death, okay, right? Okay, guys, try and work together. When we were at the spot, your mom kept saying that she wanted to go back to happier times, like when you were younger. Is there anywhere special you used to go? Oh, she, she used to like taking us to to clothing museums. Those were stores, dumbass. She just called them mouse to nail down the center spread. Who the hell is running this magazine? I don't know. 
No matter how this turns out, this is still a family company. Maybe it wouldn't kill us to... Alexis, please. My brother, Danny. I'll call you whatever I want. Hi. Well, will you be at the ad sales meeting at 10? That uh, might be awkward if we're both sitting at the same table. Daniel, we're both in charge. How am I going to be awkward if you still shove grapes up your nose? I did manage to get three up there once, though, didn't I? Hold on, your collar's going crazy. Thank you. I'm so sorry about this, Alexis. We will find it. I threw that like a girl, right? Each other's hair before the night's over. Come on, WNBA. The girl's on fire. That's just lucky. Actually, I'm the one who's lucky. No blizzard tonight, and I'd be home on Staten Island, and I'm... Are you serious? This was the plan. We had girls' night out. Well, isn't the point of girls' night about meeting guys? I mean, look, he's cute. And he has friends. See, looks like doing a postpartum depression piece with a layout on baby doll dresses. We have a big problem. OK. Crazy time begins. Excuse me. Grace Chin is representing him. She's never lost a case. OK, uh, well, is that so bad? Do you really want him to spend the rest of his life in prison? He's a murderer. <sighs> What's going on with you? Did you know about this? No, of course not. I don't even know this Grace Chin woman. Alexis, he is still our father. Before you buy him a set of golf clubs, let me remind you that he's the one that made you feel worthless your whole life, drove our mother to drink hand sanitizer, and told me he'd rather see me dead than standing here in a dress. The man is a mom. Oh, thank God. No, 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 wait, wait, what are you saying? She's saying she doesn't want to ruin her career. This isn't about my career. And maybe a closer shave. How could you do this? How could you help our father? Our father's innocent. Mom killed Faye. What? Why do you think I have to keep this from you? You never listen to me. I can't talk to you. Mom is guilty. You just ran the best lawyer in town out my door. On the dot. <gasps> I waited an hour and a half to do that. I just, um... Uh... I came to get my things before I'll come back later. No, no, no. We still haven't had our beautiful father-son reconciliation. New assistant. Go, next. How old am I? 32. 22. Really? Yes. Thank you for that. My favorite flowers. Uh, pink Gerber daisies. Henry. Hi. Dropping off paychecks. How have you been? Good. Good. How's Charlie? Good. She's good. Okay, okay, Betty, we gotta finish this. Um, uh, okay, uh, favorite pizza toppings? Goat cheese and capers. Pepperoni and mushroom. Hey, 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 whose girlfriend is she? Beat it! I'm sorry, I'm just helping him with something. Well, it was nice seeing you. Yeah. Oh, Mulan. Cinderella. Mother always read that to her before bed. These people like that, they did a really nice thing for me tonight. And that little boy, swishy. Swishy. You want to talk about Swishy? Open your eyes, Mom, and look at your own Swishy son. You know what? No. I gotta get to the hotel. No, no, no. You don't get to go. Because I may never be this brave again, Mom. If my father were drowning, I would pull up a lawn chair and watch. My, such candor. Why not? You're writing a trashy book, and I'm dying to trash him. My father told me I was dead to him. He tormented my mother by flaunting his affair with Faye. Flaunted? Faye's diaries made it sound so discreet. Diaries? Who gave you her diaries? Faye's made, and I go back a long way. Is there anything about my mother in them? Oh, yes. The diaries for the last six months of her life are unaccounted for. Might be something in there. Then I need them. 
Well, I just wanted to let you know that Nick left. Something about cheerleading finals on cable. Good night. Can I ask you a question? Did you even think of hiring me to be your assistant? Everyone knows I wouldn't mind getting a leg up in this company. Yes, but apparently you've had both legs up with my brother. That's ancient history. Amanda, I just don't see us as a good fit. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I could have been a real asset to you. I know this place inside and out. I know who stole what. I know who slept with who. I knew Janie and Styles was pregnant before she did. And FYI, it's not her husband's or her boyfriend's. You do know a lot. Look, I'm trying to find something that might help with my mother's defense. Have you ever heard anything about a secret room? You mean the love dungeon? <gasps> do you know where it is? Sure, in Never Never Land. It doesn't exist. It was Faye's way of saying, I'm hungover and I want to go home. If you'd have hired me, you'd already know that. Maybe I made a mistake. If anything should ever happen to Nick, you're next in line. Thinking more like if he got married and moved away, but I like your ambition. For now, let's forget you ever saw me in Daniel's office. Why don't you pick out something nice for yourself in the closet? I don't like being played. You gave me hope that I could find some evidence to help my mother. There is no love dungeon, Quincy. And no diaries either, I'm guessing. Go find some other chump because you just lost your best source. So the besieged queen needs to see a little evidence. Well, I have it right here. September 9th, 2005. Don't know what I can say to comfort B. We met in the love dungeon. See, right here, Faye's handwriting. It goes on. Our afternoon delight has been replaced by talk, talk, talk of Alex and how badly B feels for the way he treated his son. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Tired. Oh, I get it. You got this chick in bed by offering her the cover. <laughs> I'm saying it no freaking way. I think he's in your book for Tuesday. Yeah. Good work, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Good work. No, this is wrong. Wrong. Take five uh, touch-ups. Why don't you go and ask someone what global warming is? I think your models are depressed. Everyone in New York is depressed. In my country, a woman buries her husband, throws on a bikini, and goes to the beach. But a black bikini, because she still has to mourn. But thank you for the invitation. I'll keep myself available in case you change your mind. I see you've met Rodrigo. Quite a specimen, isn't he? I guess. He asked me out to dinner. And you said? No. Alexis, why? Because it's dinner and that means sex. I know that. I used to be a guy. And what's wrong with sex? Actually, she's 38. And I thought my work was good. That's Lena. No, 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 no. Ah. She's 20. Yes! I told you not to carry it in your purse. Idiot. Nashi Blani Razrusheni. Free clothes, right? Plenty. At least here you can score a decent glass of toilet wine. So what's boss? Mm. Still finding our rhythm. If you think this is awkward, I almost wore the same outfit. Wow. That really is you in there. Jordan, I know you must hate me. I did. I'm a tough girl. Why you never left the toilet seat up? I wanted to tell you. I know. But that would mean you'd have to say goodbye and... That was never one of your talents, Alex. I'm so sorry. It's okay. This is who you're supposed to be. And by the way, the boobs are amazing. Thanks. They're yours. I took a picture of you to the surgeon. 
The nose is Kate Winslet's. Looks like Brad is back. Any preference for how we make your old man disappear? I know your mother was fond of cutting break lines. I don't want to know any of the details. I just want him gone. Good. Because once you get off this elevator, you never see me again. Stay away from her. Oh, I love this. <laughs> You're jealous. Finally, I get the one thing you can't have. Have the guts to say goodbye. Goodbye, Jordan. Waiting is freaking me out. I told you, it'll happen when it happens. The less you know, the better. Now don't be stupid enough to call me again. Alexis, have you heard the news? Is it my father? What happened? No, uh, it's Daniel. This Girl Scout fell in a lake in Central Park, and Daniel jumped in and saved her. He even hit his head on a rock and caught a black eye. Really? Daniel did that? Look, I know things between the two of you have been a little rough, and I know that you think he's a total screw-up, but he is a really good person. You're right. Sometimes I do forget that. You know, Betty, I think we should acknowledge his heroic efforts, don't you? Oh, cupcakes! Or, or something even more special, like one big cake. Maybe we can go even bigger. We should have a press conference. Yeah, OK. Um, I'll get right on it. Like 12 before, just not with this much booze. Hey, Alexis, I have the art department on line one. Whoa. <laughs> I hope he's not driving. He's not. I'm taking him to Pinecrest. I need a town car. Now. It might be a while. Paul Abdul's fragrance release party is tonight. Cars are booked solid. Then run down to the valet and get the keys to my dad's car. Lord, I have to go to Paula's party. Now she's going to hate me, too. If you ask me, I think she trapped him. <laughs>